Now then, welcome to the channel, Lake District, and somewhere back down there is Kentmere. I was busy gabbing away to you, got all the way up here, then I realised I'd forgotten to turn the mic on. So, yes, we're parked in Kentmere, well just out of Kentmere actually, because there's no overnight parking signs all around the church and institute, so we're just outside of Kentmere. And the plan today is to go up Sourhouse and Sallows, well probably Sallows first, uh, tick them off for Charlie, he's never been up either of them, and then camp somewhere in between them. I'm not quite sure yet, there's some old quarries marked on the map up there, I was thinking about dropping down into them but looking at it from here it looks like it's a, a bracken tick fest, so we might, we might pitch up on Ridge, we're going to be getting there, there late-ish anyway. So, <laughs> I'll go through all the rest that I was saying down there when you couldn't hear me on the way up, but I was, one of the things I said, I've not brought any water with us, and this little stream here was where I'd earmarked to fill up. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to fill up there, and well, you might as well have a look at our outward route now while, while I fill up. Right, so that's water got for us both. Just to add a bit more weight to the rucksack. I was saying back there, before I realised I hadn't turned the microphone on, that uh, it's a new rucksack. I thought I'd treat myself, my me, me old one, it was a, a cheapo Gellert, it was 65 litres, but it was, it was a bit uncomfortable fully loaded, so I thought I'd treat myself and get an Osprey, so this is the the Kestrel 68, I thought it'd be a bit more comfortable than that old one, well first impressions it's not a right lot different, maybe it's just I need to adjust it, but the shoulder straps are they're rubbing a bit under armpits and I've not got it, I don't think I've got enough weight on my hips at the moment so it probably just needs adjusting but if anybody has any experience of the the Kestrel 68 by Osprey drop us a comment let us know what you think about it it's first time out for it today so see how I get on with it Ooh. Right, so now we're onto the steep bit of the Garden Pass. So up we go. So we've branched off the Garbon Pass and that style there, if you think I'm doing a walk back and some arty shots and clever cuts to, to see us coming over it, you're sadly mistaken I'm afraid with, with this lump on my back. <laughs> right, so up to Sallows now and I notice there's, there's two people coming up behind us, hopefully. They'll be off up over that way, over uh, Frosic, York, Hill Bell, maybe he's going right round doing Kentmere or Shoe. We don't want anybody pitching the tent with us up here, do we? Whew. Right, up we go to Sallows. So as I stop for a bit of a breather, 
that's looking back behind us that's over towards York I think that might be Stony Cove Pike over there is it I'm not entirely sure if it is Cordell Moor that'll be where we were was it last video or video before heading over somewhere in that general direction anyway ain't it and we're going up here I think we're almost at the top of Sallows now so we'll, we'll have a look when we go up there about pitching uh, sunset is about 20 to 9 it's only half past 6 now so we've got we've got plenty of time to have a look around I'm ready for my tea though Ooh. Right, onwards. Well, that's us over Sallows. I don't believe it. Them two that were coming up behind us, they've come up this way as well. Hmm. Right, so we're going to have a look over this, uh, the lower top and see what it's like maybe for pitching uh, down at that old quarry I don't know if we'll go over to Sour House or stay here I don't know if you can make out over my shoulder there. That's yeah, the the old quarries that I was I was thinking about pitching up by. But there doesn't seem to be much of a way of getting over there. Hmm. So I think we're gonna we're gonna carry on up to Sour House and find somewhere to pitch. Maybe other side of Sour House. Still got plenty of time. It's only only 10 to 7 right so we might as well get them all I'll get them both ticked off and then we've just a little downhill journey back tomorrow morning so that's sour how is done don't you think make out behind me over there windy mate a bit murky right so that's our hills done so we're just gonna find somewhere to pitch now i think our return route is over there towards them trees so we'll have a look round over there it's what it's five past seven so we've still plenty of time so yeah we'll we'll have a scout round for somewhere to pitch well i think we've found as good a spot as we're gonna get it's all it's just sodden all around here and our our return route in the morning is through them trees by this I mean the path's only there but it's it's quarter past seven now uh, I don't know where them two that were behind us have gone but uh, I think this is about the best spot we're gonna get I think it's uh, it's flattish, a bit tussocky, but it's dry. Where I say all everywhere else around here, it's just a bit boggy. And we'll have we'll have that view over Sallows, and the sun, if we can see it, should come up over there. Mind you, sunrise is about half past three, so I won't be seeing that. Right, we'll get pitched. There we have the Lanshan 2 Pro with mods. Um, if I have time after tea, I'll show you my mods, but I'm starving now. I'm going to get my tea on. Charlie's had his while we're putting the tent up. So I'll get all my 
me crap in there and get tea on. So we'll see you in a bit. Oh, so we're set up, ready for tea, which tonight is it's a, a fire pot. It's porcini mushroom risotto. I wouldn't say I've gone, I've gone veggie, but the uh, last couple of months I've just, I've been trying to do without meat. Um, I'm still eating fish and seafood stuff, but no, it's been all right. Had some really nice stuff. So it's porcini mushroom risotto tonight. And while the water's boiling, one of these. I'm ready for this. Ah. Oh. <sighs> ah. Cheers. Ah. So we have boiling water. The sun going down over there, over our house it's brilliant really good right mustn't forget to take the oxygen absorber thingy out of this let's have a look ah, and it's right at the top that's handy looks interesting put them in the rubbish bag Right, where do we have to fill this to? Hang on, specs time. Don't watch this bit. I don't like having my specs on on my bids. <laughs> Especially these blooming things. Where are we? Level five. Where's level five? Where? Right. That'll do for level five, I think. It's near enough. Give it a stir. Take them blooming things off. <laughs> Don't tell anybody you saw me with them on. Right, no then. Oh, I hope you can, I hope you can hear me. My microphone's right under there. <laughs> Right, a good stir, right into the corners. And leave this for... ...15 minutes. And it is now half past eight. Oh, so we'll be, we'll be eating just about as the sun's going down. Lovely. Right then. No need to get that in my jacket to keep me warmer out like that. Boiled far too much water. Waste of gas. Right. We'll have another little slurp while we're waiting. Well, 15 minutes is up. Let's have a look in here. <laughs> yeah, I think I should have added a bit more water. It's, uh, it's just a solid lump. <laughs> oh, hang on. Well, I'm gonna have to add some more water to this and, and leave it a bit longer. <laughs> It's just a solid lump of mush. So much for level five. Mind you, I had taken my specs off, hadn't I? Ooh. 
Right, we'll leave this. Uh, another, I don't know what, 10 minutes or so. And <laughs> see what happens to that. Oh, God, I'm starving, I know. All right for Charlie, he's had his, he had his before we got tent up. That sun going down over Sour House was lovely as well. I'm doing a, I've got my other phone set up, taking a, a time lapse of it. I wish I'd have normal speed. There was a kestrel came along, hovered a bit, straight down, it caught some up, and then off with it. That'd have been nice to, to capture. No, it's over there now, is that kestrel? This is beautiful here, looking over to to Sour House. It's about, about the best visibility we've had all day. It's just been really, really hazy all day. I mean, it is hazy now, but it's starting to clear a bit. Uh, so there's other side of Sour House over there is uh, Yoke. And then I'm not sure which is the one you can see after that. But round the corner you can see over to you can you make out the big cane on the uh, <laughs> what's it called? Above Thresh That Mouth, what's it called? Thornthwick Crag. See big cane on there, and then drop down to Thresh That Mouth up to Stony Cove Pipe. And I'm not sure what'll be along further along this ridge. There's a bit of a, a pointy thing over there. Ooh, that'd be I'm not sure, will it be red screes? I don't know. I'm waffling out. I'll tell you what, I'll have another slurp instead of waffle. Mm. So I think Charlie might need his gym jams on tonight. He's, he's never needed them. So on the few times we've been out camping, it's not got uh, cold enough really. It's forecast to get down to about eight i think tonight something like that so he might need his gym jams on i've got a i bought a like a can you make it out here look, a foil liner to go under his mat i'll be all right with my uh <laughs> What's it? what make is it my mat <laughs> oh dear, i don't know I have enough trouble trying to remember names of hills, don't I? Without, without trying to remember name and names of me gear as well. I'll be all right in that anyway. We down bag. Yeah, it should be a should be a nice night. Nobody else around. Thankfully, because we're we're right next to the path there. I did wonder if them two that that followed us up might have come over this way, but they've they've sauntered off somewhere else. Oh, no, it's it's nice. I say it's getting chill out to put me me hat on. It might be oh, put that on there. It might be uh, down jacket time soon. I don't know. I've got some gloves with me as well, which I always forget when I come camping. I just forget gloves. So hopefully, I've remembered everything today. Look at this for me. My morning coffee. How about that? You like that? <laughs> it's not very big. You won't get much coffee. Maybe an espresso mug, isn't it? Really? <laughs> I am waffling, aren't I? Mm, right. Tra, we'll see you when Mushroom Risotto is ready. Look at that sky behind me there. It's fantastic, isn't it? Right, so I've had a thought. What I'll do instead of sitting there talking waffle i'll show you these the mods that i've done on this tent while i'm waiting for me my, uh, my risotto so i'll just flip you onto the camera and i'll talk you around these mods so the first one as the tent comes the top of the the trekking pole here and the the peg to the door here that's that's connected it comes down and back and you just peg it in peg it out in one well i think that's a pretty standard mod that most people do is to separate them so you've got a separate peg there for the door and a separate peg there for the guy which i've put an, a long guy on i've put far too much on it so i think that's a, 
a pretty standard mod that that most people do now the the second mod that i've done is i've added a charlie which i think is a pretty unique mod which makes it 100 times better than any other tent doesn't it and then these like outriggers so instead of this guy coming like straight down i've added these are uh, these are telescopic um poles for a, a bivy so i've just added them and then well th this is pegged out a bit high here but so that gives you just a little bit more room there rather than that sort of being pulled down it, it pulls it out a bit now i'll just go around right over here look at, look at that sky just look at that sky oh and there that's looking over sour house where we were earlier on in the day now then in the corner because i've got a you might not be able to make it out here but i've got a footprint for it and as it would be that the footprint and the bathtub and the outer would all need pegging out separately so i've attached can you make it out there look I've attached the footprint to the corner of the bathtub and then the corner of the bathtub to the corner of the fly so you just need one peg there and there's there's a adjuster there's an adjuster there look, between the the bathtub and the fly and then an adjuster between the fly and the peg so that's that saves you having to peg all them out individually so that's it I think but I, I'm quite happy with it amply I mean it's not the best like area to be pitching it but it looks it looks nice doesn't it I'm quite happy with it the only thing about them is you've got to seam seal them so I've I've done all the seam I think I think it was second time I had it out it absolutely chucked it down during night but uh, it was fine, absolutely no problem at all. So seam sealing must have worked. So yeah, I, I like it, it's good. Looks nice, doesn't it? Nice temp. Oh, hey, <laughs> falling downhill. Oh, let me get back on that Stella. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> right, so I wonder, I wonder how my risotto is getting on. Right then, let's see what this is like this time round. <laughs> it still looks like a solid lump. <laughs> they never look appetising these meals, do they? I can't wait any longer anyway because I'm starving. So let's get tucked in and see. You know, actually, that's tasty. That's nice, is that? I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, that is nice. Right, I won't make you watch me eating, but I'm going to enjoy this. So, see you after I've tucked in. Well, we've just come for a, a bit of a wander to see what kind of view we're getting. Look at that over Windermere. I'm, I was going to say I'll shut up then because I, I could hear a cuckoo over there. And, but I don't think you'll be able to pick it up on here. And then looking down there to Langfit Park. And then Troutbeck Tongue. I wish I'd brought my head torch now. We could have just stayed here and watch the lights coming on around Windermere that's brilliant isn't it this is what I like about about wild camping you've just got places to yourself haven't you and it's just stunning I mean what would you rather do would you rather look at that 
Or would you rather look at Britain's Got Talent or Gogglebox or something like that? I know what I'd rather look at and it's there. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, I say I'm, I'm a bit miffed with myself. I should have brought head torch and we could have just could have just stopped here and watched the lights coming on. Ah oh, well, never mind. I don't know if you can hear that cuckoo or not down down there. When I get home I'll turn volume up and see if you can hear it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Right, we're just going to mooch around for a bit, I think. <laughs> just take it all in. So we'll probably see you back at the tent. <coughs> so we're just making our way back to the tent, which is there. Look, you can see that deer there, look. You wouldn't see that watching your telly, would you? <laughs> Brilliant. So here we are, just chilling out at the tent. There's me, my laddo there. You can see him. <laughs> He's that busy digging, he's made himself thirsty. Look. Are you going to say hello, Charlie? No. <laughs> oh, hello, Charlie. <laughs> So yeah, just chilling out. It's been... Uh... Hello. So yeah, we're just uh, just chilling out. It's glorious. We've got lovely views over, over that way still. Over Sallows, over to... I think it's Yoke, the first one of the, the little triplets. And then I think you can see Ill Bell just but i don't think you can see frosic then you can see over you can still make out the the big cairn on top of uh, thornthorpe crag and then dropping down into threshlet mouth up to uh stony cove pike it's brilliant so there's just there is just the the slightest bit of a breeze nothing to concern us but this is this is absolutely rock solid is it I've, I've never tested it in wind and I, I probably never would but it, it is absolutely solid i mean if you've got a lansham if you what add it out in in all kinds of weather let us know if you've done any of these mods drop us a comment if you've made made some other mods let us know see how you how you've got on with them always interesting to find out other people's ideas see what they've done see if they've worked but now this is uh, this is great. I, I love this. Hopefully we'll be able to get out in it a bit more often. This is I mean this is this is first one at year. I mean the weather's just been awful so far on the the days that I've had off anyway. That first week spring bank holiday. Um, no, not spring bank holiday. This is spring bank holiday just gone now. May day when I was supposed to be doing uh, oh, over there. Cordale Moan, Stony Cove Pike, a wild camp up there. And we were booked into Sykeside for three days. Ended up staying for one. It was shocking. <laughs> yeah, well. Right, so it won't be long before it's time to, to turn in, I don't think. <laughs> Are you ready for bedtime, eh? Are you ready for your bedtime? <laughs> He's been having great fun down there, just, just digging away. I think he's, I think he's ready for his supper and turning in. I'm going to put his gym jams on for him as well. I think he don't like them. They're a bit, they're a bit, a uh, bit of a tight fit. So he's only ever had them on at home, trying them out. He's never, never had them out uh, in anger. But let's say it's, it's supposed to drop down to about eight tonight. So we'll pop them on, keep him nice and snug. Right. So I think we're just going to chill out for a bit more. I just I don't feel like turning in. <laughs> I don't feel like turning in just yet. It's too nice an evening. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to chill out here. And... 
Charlie's going to chill out. Yeah, you're going to chill out. We'll catch you in a bit. Well, that's us for the night, I think. We've had a, a brilliant day. It's uh, just coming up to 11, I think, now. Sun's well and truly gone down. It was it was great to see it going uh, going down over there, over Sour House. And you won't be able to see from here, but as always happens at this time, there seems to be an issue about exactly whose bed is whose. <laughs> but he'll be fine. He's got his gym jams on. Uh, I'll be fine in my in my uh, sleeping bag. I think. Don't think there'll be any issues. It's just a, a gentle little breeze. So now, all good. We've uh, we're all fed and watered, and looking forward to a nice sleep. So unless anything spectacular happens, we'll see you in the morning. Night night. Good morning. What a lovely morning it is as well. Obviously, we were nowhere near getting up for sunrise, which was about half past three. It's, what is it now? It's just coming up to six o'clock. So first order of the day will be breakfast for Charlie. And I'll get some water on for, for mine and a coffee. Beautiful. Right, so breakfast for Charlie and some water on for me. So we'll see you in a bit. So I've just been putting everything away from in the tent while I've been waiting for my, my breakfast, which this morning we're on fire pot again and it's toasted banana porridge. So I'll enjoy that. Everything's packed away. So there's just the, the tent to drop now after I've had my breakfast and a coffee and we'll be off. It's only a, a short walk down and it's, it's what now it's 25 to 7 so easy to be back at car for for eight i think only trouble with that is it's a saturday morning and i'm going to be driving down kentmere as everybody else is driving up it and that road's a nightmare it's really narrow and not many places to pass anyway we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so breakfast time so that's us packed away leave no trace as you all know, when you're out wild camping, only a bit of flattened grass. And there's the views that we've got to say goodbye to. Absolutely glorious. It's a shame to say goodbye to them, isn't it? So we follow this wall round by this little plantation here until we pick up a track that takes us back to Kentmere. So we'll see you on the way down. So our initial plan was to head over, over that way and then pick up a bridle way and then come back round on the bridle way. I think we're just going to handrail this wall. There is a, a half decent, well, you can tell that people come this way, well, apart from now where it's just got a bit squelchy. So yeah, we're just going to handrail this wall. It looks as if it leads us back in the general direction. I can see the the track that's the bridal way down there that leads us back to Kentmere Hall. So yeah, we'll just follow this uh, this wall round. Right, down we go.
So we're back on the, the bridal way. That's our intended route. There's only just over a mile and a half to go now. So if you've got any of the, the gear that I've used, or if you'd like any more information about it, if you've done any mods on your Lanshan, or if you've done same mods as I have, let us know how you've got on with them. If you've got any experience of oh, this rucksack uh, and how to adjust it properly, because it's sitting far too far down on me. It's, it's not actually on my hips, it's below my hips. So it's, it's kind of resting and small on my back. So I'll have to do some adjustments on that. But it's a lovely morning. Just me and Charlie and the sheep. And just coming down by that, uh, that stream, I think it might have been the, the Hawthorne, but the scent, it was absolutely delightful. It's like Armandy. I think it was the Hawthorne, but all the, all the uh, Rowan was in, in bloom as well. I don't know if that has a, a scent. I, I think it was the Hawthorne. Again, if you know anything about botany, let me know about that. Tracy. Right, onwards we go. Well, this bridal way coming down here is an absolute delight. See down there to Kent Mere Tarn. This is a new track for me, so you can't really see Kent Mere Tarn uh, from anywhere else, I don't think. Certainly the first time I've, I've seen it. And then if we spin right round those crags, I can't remember the names. That's uh, our route took us below the bottom of them yesterday evening and it's quite warm if we didn't have just a mile to go I'd, I'd set my coat and my legs off I think so now I'm going to sign off it's been great it's been good to get out this has been our first wild camp of the year what with rubbish weather and one thing and another so I really enjoyed it if you've got any comments or suggestions about gear or anything like that, then drop them in comments. Always nice to get comments. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it as much as us. We've had a brilliant time. If you have, please do the usual, the liking, subscribing, ring the notification bell, commenting, sharing, all the usual malarkey. And hopefully, see you on the next one. Troll!